Hi friends, Stacy here. Welcome back to our channel. I am so excited to be sharing today's video with you where I am doing the end of the year book tag. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. I'm very excited to be doing this tag. Thank you to Nikki, our friend here on booktube. Her channel is um, at Hello Nikki Novels. Um, I'll put it on the screen and in the description box. Make sure to go check out her channel. She is a lovely person um, and she started making videos recently so go show her some support. She tagged us to do this video so thank you Nikki for tagging us. Um, I appreciate you doing so and um, I'm actually filming this pretty late. Um, I'm actually filming this in January of 2024 because I wasn't able to film it at the end of the year. So um, I am filming it late, but I'm still going to try to answer the questions um, like I would if I were filming this earlier. Um, but this is a really fun tag. I'm not sure who started it, but um, yeah, it's just a, a nice way to wrap up the year and share um, your reading and everything. Um, I tag any of you who want to do this tag. It's not too late. Um, Feel free to do it late like I am in January, whenever you want to do it. Um, I will still watch it, but I tag any of you who want to do this who haven't been tagged yet. I would love to see your end of the year book tags. Um, feel free to film your own and share it with us and we will love to watch it. But I am going to get into the questions for the end of the year book tag and I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. So... The first question is, are there any books that you started this year that you need to finish? So again, I'm going off of 2023, even though I'm filming this in 2024. So um, no, um, there are no books that I started in 2023 that I need to finish. Um, I'm very good at finishing books, whether I enjoy them or not. I never leave books like halfway read or anything I always always read them in their entirety so there are no books that I started in 2023 that I need to finish however I do have a bunch of series that I started that I need to continue and finish and I've said it a million times you guys know I am terrible at finishing series I start them all the time and then I just don't read the other books because I get distracted by other books. So this is something I'm working on in 2024 for sure. I'll be sharing my goals in like a reset video soon. So stay tuned for that. But I'm going to be sharing this video first. But I have a bunch of reading goals for 2024 that I'll share later. And one of them is definitely to stop starting series and work on the ones that I'm already reading. So I have so many series to finish in 2024, but I am proud of myself because like I said, I finished every single book that I started. I don't have any books um, that I'm like halfway through at this point. That is the question number one. The second question is, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? This one I had a hard time figuring out. Um, I don't really have an answer for this one, to be honest. Um because I read autumnal books in the fall, so I'm not usually, like, reading them at the end of the year. But what, um, what came to mind for me was the Harry Potter series, because this is a series that reminds me of, like, the fall and winter, um, because of, you know, the witchcraft, it's really cozy, spooky, and I'm still working on the Harry Potter series, um, I'm reading Goblet of Fire right now, but it is a series that I would love to finish in 2024, um, so I do kind of count it for this question because it is, Harry Potter is a series that I think is autumnal and that I think is a great transitional book to go into like the end of the year and the new year. So the Harry Potter series is definitely my answer. The third question is, is there a new release you're still waiting for? Um, again, my answer to this question, um isn't entirely accurate because I'm filming this late because um, my most anticipated release is Ruthless Vows by Rebecca Ross and it has already come out by the time I'm filming this video but I'm still going to count it for the question anyways. So 
I read Divine Rivals in December and I loved it. It was a five-star read. It was one of my favorite books of 2023. Um, I loved it so much. So of course um, I was very excited for the second book and the final book in the duology, Ruthless Vows, to come out. And I have it to show you now because it is out. Like I said, by the time I'm filming this video, the book is out. So it came out um, and it's gorgeous. I have the beautiful hardcover to match the first one. And like I said, yeah, this is one of my most anticipated releases because I just love Divine Rivals. Um, I'll probably read it this month in January. And then it's only a duology, so it's very easy. So this will be a series that's very, very easy for me to complete. But yeah, this is the one that I was definitely waiting for um, that is considered like a new release. But I had only read Divine Rivals last month, so I wasn't waiting very long for this to come out like other people that read it earlier in 2023. But I absolutely love Divine Rivals. I'm so glad this one is out. I will be reading this very, very soon, and I can't wait to read it. Let me know in a comment if you've read Ruthless Vows and share your thoughts, spoiler free. I would love to know what you think. I've heard really good things about it. The next question is, what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? And again, I'm filming this in January, so I'm just going to share um, the three books that I most wanted to read from my December TBR, and I read all of them. So the first one that I really wanted to read in December, of course, like, was Divine Rivals. So here's book one. I also have the hardcover. I really wanted to read this by the end of the year. And I did read it in December. And like I said, I loved it. I gave it five stars. Um, I This was one of the ones I really wanted to read by the end of the year. I'm so glad I did. Um, because, you know, now Ruthless Vows is out and I could read that. That's the first book. The second book I wanted to read by the end of the year was Caraval by Stephanie Garber. The first book in the Caraval series. And I also read this one in December. Again, loved it. Five stars. I need to read the sequel soon which is legendary, and I'm planning on reading it very, very soon. But I've been wanting to read Careful for a very long time. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. Same thing with Divine Rivals, because they're not the genres that I normally read. But I really loved both of them, and I totally understand the hype. So Careful was the second book that I really wanted to read by the end of the year, and I'm happy to say that I did read it, along with Divine Rivals. And the third book I really wanted to read by the end of the year was A Cross Country Christmas by Courtney Walsh and I did read this one as well and again it was a five-star read. I absolutely loved it. We read it in December for our book club and a lot of you really enjoyed it as well who read it with us. So I've been wanting to read that Christmas book for a very long time. I've always heard good things about it so I'm proud to say that I read A Cross Country Christmas um, by the end of the year. And like I said, I absolutely loved it, in addition to Divine Rivals and Caraval. Um, those are the three books I wanted to finish by the end of 2023, and I did, and I loved all of them. The next question is, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? And again, I think the answer to this one was Divine Rivals, because I already said this, I wasn't sure if I was go going to like it. I wasn't sure if it, I was going to think it lived up to the hype because it's more like historical and I don't really read historical fiction or anything like that. I like historical romance, but I don't really read like historical fiction um, and like fantasy. So I wasn't sure if I was going to like this. And this book shocked me so much, you guys. Like I said, I did not think I was going to love it. I was thinking maybe I would think it was like, okay, but it's not worth the hype. And I totally was surprised how much I loved this book. I think the more I think about it, the more I love it. Like, I knew I had to get Ruthless Vows right away. That's how much I loved this book. I loved every single minute, the characters, the storyline, the world, the pacing, the writing. Rebecca Ross's writing is amazing. I had already read A River Enchanted from her before this, and I think I like this a lot better than A River Enchanted. But absolutely loved it. So this one was the shocker of the year for me. I was not thinking I was going to love it as much as I did. But I totally understand the hype. So worth the hype. And this is definitely one of my favorite books of the entire year. So I immediately thought of Divine Rivals for this question. This book shocked me to the core how much I loved it. I did not think I was going to love it this much. 
Um, so I highly recommend checking out Divine Rivals. If you haven't read it yet, I'm sure you read it by this point. But Steph hasn't read it yet, so I'm trying to get her to read it soon. But I'm so glad I read this at the end of the year. And I cannot wait to dive into Ruthless Vows very soon. And there's one more question, and it is, have you already started making reading plans for 2024? And this is a yes, because I'm filming this in 2024. Um, yes, so I already made my January TBR, of course, because we're in January. I've already started it. And I've set a bunch of reading goals for the year. And Steph and I started thinking about... Um, our book club picks for 2024 for each month since we read books together. If you want to join our Discord, the link's in the description box and follow our book club Instagram. We'd love for you to join. It's totally free. But we've already started thinking about book club for the year. And like I said, I've already made a, De a January TBR and I've already started reading the books. And I've already made my reading goals for the year. I'll be sharing all this very soon. I'm planning to do like a New Year reset video, which will be up after this. So stay tuned. But um, that is all the questions. So that is it for the end of the year book tag. Short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I tag all of you to do this if you want to. Um, feel free to film your own video or answer the questions in the comments section. I'll put the questions in the description box so you can refer to them. I would love to read your answers in the comments section. Let me know if you've read any of the books that I talked about in this video. I would love to hear, but thank you so much for spending 2023 with us, and we're very excited to be in 2024 with a bunch of new content coming your way, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe to our channel down below, join our Discord with the link in the description box, and leave a comment down below, and I will see you very soon in our next video. Bye, friends! Mm -hmm.